I'm Dr. Mark Waterbury, inventor of the Aeropulse Compact Vertical Aeroponic Gardening System. I'm going to be showing you some methods to transplant plants into the new Macrofalls 2 2 inch net cut based Aeropulse. Before we get started, I'm going to be quiet for a moment, promise, and I'd like you to listen and see if you can hear the sound that the Aeropulse is making. You should hear a gentle trickling sound if you turn your sound up. I've brought the camera in close. All you hear is a gentle waterfall-like sound. The pump noise is virtually silent because the pump is kept floating, in, uh, not in contact with the case. Zooming in for a moment on this open port, you can see the water flowing past. This happens uh, with each of the ports. So every one of these net cups receives a continual stream of highly oxygenated water. I've got a wide variety of different plants in here, strawberries, lettuce mixes, uh, parsley. Uh, it's important that different plants in the same system have consistent nutrient needs. If one type of plant needs a large amount of nutrients and another would be burned by that large amount, then you have a problem. So you have to make sure that your the plants are, have a consistent nutrient requirement. I'm going to start with this lettuce uh, combination uh, pot here. This is purchased at a local nursery, so it has uh, soil around the roots. Uh, it is trivially easy to transplant from plants that have been grown in a media that's directly compatible, but here we have a lot of dirt, so we have to get the dirt off first. So I'm simply going to crumple the majority of this right off. Here I've crumpled most of the soil away. I've got some remaining roots and, um, and a small amount of soil left in that. So I'm going to immerse this into water and use the water in a vertical up and down motion to wash away most of the rest of this soil. It's not going to get every bit of it, but it will get the great majority of it. We don't want the soil to be plugging up the pump circulation system in the aerophones. I've got this down to where there's just a small amount of soil left and there's still plenty of roots. Uh, so this soil is held in place by the roots and it isn't going to be washing off into the system in any quantity. And small amounts of soil a filter can handle. If you just planted a lot of new uh, plants with soil on them, you'll want to uh, change the water a couple times to flush that out. So I'm simply going to grab a net cup, place the roots into the net cup, and pack a few rock wool cubes down in here to secure it in place more than anything. These aren't really providing the medium for the roots to grow in. The gr roots are going to be growing down inside of the column of the aerofall system. This is simply to provide mechanical support so that the plant won't tip out of it. Here's my plant uh, packed in with rock wool. It's held uh, securely in place. Don't want to pack it too tight. As the plant grows, it's going to increase in size and lodge itself in position. Also, the roots, as they pass through the net cup, will secure the plant to the net cup very solidly. So I'm simply going to place that into the aerofall system. This is going to perk up very rapidly as it's uh, receiving water from the aerofalls. Okay, now let's do a marigold. Again, uh, purchased from a nursery so it has soil on it. We need to be removing that soil right off the bat. I'm going to crumple this away taking as much soil as I can and as little roots as I ca uh, can. Rinse it in the water, vertical motion, washing the roots as free as I can. Now this plant gave up the soil very easily. You'll find that some types of plants will hold on to that soil tenaciously, while others are very easy to, uh, to uh, wash free. Set this down in here. Pack it in place with some rock wool cubes. Not very tight, just in, tightly enough to hold it in place. And set this in an open port. Here's a lemon balm plant. Uh, herbs, uh, mints, things like this do very well in this system. Need to shake it loose. Remove the soil. Here we have a more tenacious grasp at the soil. I'm going to wash it. 
And there, having very good luck with washing this, crumpling the soil away didn't work very well at all with the lemon balm, but washing it is taking the soil away very readily. I kind of drape the roots down into the net cup. Now they're overflowing in this net cup, but they're going to find their way down through the, the slits in this and down into the shaft of the aerofall system, into the column. Pack the rock wool around it, moving a couple dead leaves there. And here we have the lemon balm ready to place into the system. I've got a pretty good sized strawberry plant here. I'm going to cut the peat pot away. don't really like peat pots very much. They uh, are supposed to degrade into the soil, but I've never had that happen. They usually wind up blocking roots uh, when you're transplanted into, into soil with them. But I'm going to simply crumple away the dirt. Here I actually have two strawberries in this system. I'll disentangle those. And here I'm holding one of the strawberries. I'm actually handling these very gently. Plants have many little microscopic structures. You don't want to be grabbing them and moving them around like it's a, a pencil or something. It's, it's alive. I want to be very gentle with these things. And here we have the strawberry ready for another nap pot. Place the roots down in here and pack the rock wool. Now when you plant an arrow falls with strawberry plants, you don't need to fill all of the ports. You might fill half the ports or even a quarter of the ports because the runners from the strawberry plant will spread out. You can simply take those and plug it into the next port, put that into a net pot, and you've got more strawberry plants just as you would in a regular garden. So this is ready to go in. I want to show you a few plants that have already been in this Arrow Falls for just a few days. Uh, this lettuce combination uh, group here, for instance, was planted a few days ago. This is the one that I just planted today. You can actually see that the one that was in the pot is somewhat smaller, so I'm already getting some growth out of this new system. And I have the root hair starting, roots uh, starting to come out of the net pot. And zooming in a bit so you can see the roots a bit better, here is another lettuce plant in a net pot that's been in for a few days and it has uh, again uh, healthy root, root growth. Uh, these will hang down inside of the system. Ultimately virtually the entire interior of this uh, aerofalls panel will be filled with roots. Now I hope what you'll take away from this demonstration of transplanting is that it really isn't very complicated. You want to just treat the plants with respect, use good common plant sense, and uh, make sure that you don't damage them as you move them into the aerofall. This isn't rocket science. I used to be a rocket scientist and believe me, that was way harder. Mm -hmm.